All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Thursday, playing them Predator Plants, and we are joined by Slate. Hello. So you have no idea what Predator Plants are, do you? <laughs> nope, never seen them. Well, they have literally three monsters. I, I really don't know. It was probably one of the biggest votes in Daily Duels poll history. Like, it was definitely going to be on there. But there's only three monsters, so what I have to do is throw it in with a different archetype and pretty much try to boss out their boss monster, which is that uh, Star Venom Fusion Dragon. So, yeah. Yeah, I do what anything you just said means. Okay. Oh. Well, yeah. Well, it, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing, because this is a deck that I have not used before. Well, I've used, I've used Monarchs before, but this is like a interesting type of Monarchs, so we'll see what I can do. All right, well, it should be interesting to say the least. Uh, at least you got something strong. I mean, my deck's not too powerful. I got evil swarms, so that's that's good. <laughs> yeah, because my star venom has to be two darks on the field. So I just simply like I'll just go ahead and summon uh, caster. I won't say caster. Caster summon another evil swarm and then fuse it up into star venom. Okay. Um. Wow. And I've only played Monarchs a little bit. And the only time I played Monarchs is a little a little bit of a Monarch engine inside decks that people wanted me to play on Daily Duels, like BES and Earthbounds. <laughs> I'm just trying to get my... I mean, you're going plus like crazy and drawing and searching and plusing and Pantheism should be limited, but it's not, so enjoy. I'm trying to get my engine running. What else do I need to grab? Turn. Yeah, these would be fine. It's interesting, our opponent take, took it so slow, just set one card. Yeah, I, I did not draw very well, which is okay. Interesting. I would say, do you already have a return? No. I mean, if you're playing that, you could have, if you would tribute something and, and play return, it would been chain link one, your monarch chain link two return in case that's a solemn strike set, so they couldn't hit you with the strike. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> um, I'm just going to make a Dante. <laughs> um, so we'll summon Terror Top, search attack a Tomboard, so summon attack a Tomboard, go into Dante Mill, because why not? Yeah, no, I don't. So are, are you running Taka Tomboard and Terror Top? I mean, yeah. No. What? Dude, this deck is so tight, are you kidding me? Well, never mind. You're not summoning shit. But we're just going to take it extremely slow. Actually, I'm going to normal summon Barbar. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. I mean, out of all the things that make Dante, you would think that you'd be running uh, Terra Top and Takatom. Why? What? No. What? This is a Burning Abyss Monarch deck. I have no room for any of that, and that, that makes no sense. I don't, I don't even see why you're saying that. To go into Dante. Because he's Dante. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, well. I mean, you got the Storm Forth, the monster on the field, so whatever they summon, you could just Storm Forth and tribute for uh, Big White Bitch. Yep. <laughs> and then a monster will be sent from the field to the graveyard, so at least Vanities will go. I'm not sure if it'll go before Ether would go, though. Uh, I mean, I don't know. think, because I think Vanity starts a separate chain. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, never mind. They're just going to quit. Wow, that was lame. I say, I don't know why, I don't, I don't know why they scooped. Maybe it's because of what you had and what you were playing, but... You don't even you didn't even see what I was playing yet. Not like my deck is that great. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I got the predator plant that can fuck up any. Uh, any is this the one that that can fuck up any level monster? I don't know. <laughs> level monster? What do you mean level monster? Monster with a level. Oh okay. So I, thought, I thought you meant like deck. I thought you meant like like the monsters with LV in their name that like power up like silent silent swordsman and stuff. <laughs> Bad hand, he says. So what are you gonna quit? Oh, wow! Passed. Wow! All right. No set, no nothing. You could have at least bluffed. Yeah. Wow. All right. This is this is interesting. So I have, uh, I have foolish. Just have fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I gotta see if I look. I don't know a lot about the Burning Abyss half of this deck yet. Still. <clears throat> I mean, you could send Graf, and then Graf will summon you a BA. That's good. <laughs> Cause foolish, one of the best eggs in Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Um. 
kind of wondering where you're going to go with the BA. Yeah. Are you going to actually go into Dante, or are you just going to leave it alone and tribute those two? Uh, interesting. Yeah, I'm definitely going to, because I've returned, so I'm definitely going to tribute them. But I'm not, it, will, is Vanishing mandatory? No, okay. Uh, White bitch, or... <laughs> Dark nigga. The black one, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. The, the, the black one. <laughs> well, what? If one's white, the other one's... I'm, I'm not... <laughs> not it was funny how it went like that. <laughs> <I'm not. laughs> Unlike the black nigga that steals your shit <laughs> from your hand, and then you're like, yeah, the, the dark one. I don't want to be racist. <laughs> and I also, I also have Stormforth in my freaking hand, so I've got Aether Stormforth set up, too. Mm. So we're in this. Um... You get that scum search during the end phase. That's power too. Please. Go ahead and send your prime, send your pantheism, of course. <laughs> search with your pantheism. Yeah, I got. Yep. I got my. Yeah. I wonder. Well, I guess. Make a shitty, shitty hand even shittier. God damn it, Lunar! I should have went on do not disturb on Skype. Hold on. Ah, and as soon as I put the video on pause, turn Skype to do not disturb. They quit. Can I actually do something in this video? <laughs> We're back. I don't know. Maybe. I would say, yeah, take that to Nationals. I mean, what what's in there that's expensive from the burning... I mean, you already got the Monarch Calf. What's it spending some burning base? Beatrice? Beatrice, and... I don't know. I don't know all the prices, but right now I'm... I'm I mean, I, I mean, I'm obviously considering it. I have, I have to test it more. <clears throat> uh, What do we got here? Uh, am I, I mean, going first? Yeah, I am. Okay. Uh, I mean, that, that, of course that shit wouldn't fly in fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! Trader Athletes Season 2 Shameless Plug. <laughs> Because we like Burning Abyss or Monarchs. You don't get both. <laughs> get two top tier decks and smash them together. Because well, but you, can. but you can see how like you can see how cool this is, right? Like, mm -hmm. ah, all right. Okay. So I want to send the Scarm. You are you special summon Graf, so you want to send the Scarm. You normal summon Scarm, so you can get Scarm effect during your face. If you do try to scrap right now, you won't get this effect. Oh, then, then I messed up. Okay. So I want to. So I want to send Scarm. Yeah. Okay. So I messed up. I should have sent the other one because I have another Bring Abyss in my hand. So I messed up. <gasps> no big deal. Terrible mess. Huh? Well, no, it was. I mean, it was also Farfa, so I, I kind of want to save the Farfa for my turn, but. Okay. Yeah. I'm. I'm talking about your your general mills. It's fine. I set a prime. Oh, so well, you got prime. So. Yeah. So let's see what triple so triple plan. I'm actually only running two, just for space. That's surprising. If, if anything, and especially in this deck with milling with Dante and stuff, I'd run a triple prime. Hell yeah! And well, extra deck. The thing is, drawing the prime isn't as good as milling the prime is. You know what I mean? I mean, but you should, you'll still have the odds of it at three when you mill it or draw it. I mean, even with drawing it right now, it's <laughs> it's gonna be put in network next turn. So should I should I go Beatrice or no? Uh, yeah, I would. I mean, there's really no point. I mean, yeah, I would. Just go just pitch and put Beatrice in defense mode with that 28 delicious booty. Cause fuck it, cause then you can just use Beatrice to foolish anything. Yeah, so there's not even really a, you know, obviously I'm not using Farfus. So that yeah, that's fine. So, if need be, you can, if you want to, you could, uh, foolish Farfa, or you can foolish one of your Monarch cards like Pantheism or stuff, or Prime. Beatrice is a boss ass bitch. It just sucks that you can't use her effect during the turn she summoned that way. If you summon properly with two level six monsters, then you can, but the way you did it, she can't use her effect, so. Blue eyes, all right. So, are you just gonna go ahead and wait for him to do all his plays and actually summon the blue eyes, or are you gonna try to interrupt him with like Beatrice or something? Just using Prime. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> you went. You went first. Yes. Yeah, you went first because I don't remember looking at my hand. I was like, I was like, what the hell? Like, what the hell is in my hand? Like, I don't know. All right. Uh, what does Protector do? So he's supposed to summon that from his hand. All right, so that's fine. I don't need to ban it. You could target. Yet. You could target one effect monster you control. Send send it to the Great River. You just summon the Blue monster from your hand. So he's gonna target Maiden. So pretty much he's gonna summon two Blue right now. Okay. Uh. So should I hit one of the Blue Eyes when he summons it? Probably. If that's what you want to do. Yeah. I mean, like I, mean, I said, how, I mean, how I don't want him summoning like a Felgrand or something that I can't that I can't really deal with. Yeah. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get rid of him now. 
because that's going to summon the blue eyes, and then that's going to summon the blue eyes. So, mm, from his hand. Yeah, yeah. Got your summons from hand. So we gonna just uh, do Farfa. What's in my graveyard? Uh, you got Scarm, Farfa, and Monarch Stoneforth. Alright, so I'll send Dante, and then I'll send Farfa. Where's Farfa? I mean, he could still do a sync, sync nine plays, so that's pretty powerful. Yeah, and the new deck gets a lot more powerful. Where's my Farfa? But the sync nine won't be able to get over you, but the blue eyes can get over you. Yeah. Pete, please chain the sequence. I'm banishing blue eyes. And I'm Dante recycling. Uh, Farfa, why not? Just send so blue can, eyes. So I can get rid of whatever he, he summons. Blue eyes is strong. I, I wouldn't be surprised if this deck wins worlds. Blue eyes? Yeah, I've, I've been hearing that from people. I don't know. Extra deck uh, monarchs, though. Like I said, well, OCG is hit with extra deck monarchs. What's hit? Uh, Domain is at one and Pantheon is at one. Mm, okay. Domain's not. I mean, domain only would really only run one. So, like in the in the extra deck version of Monarchs, you only run one domain. Dude, Austin not online. It's fucking Sword Art, ill. And you didn't tackle with the Beatrice. Oh, all right. Oh, never mind. Silver's, Silver's cry. cry. Okay, that's fine. Silver's Cry, Gospel. Like I said, it really depends on what comes in that movie pack. Like, yeah. Well, a lot of the stuff is already released, like, or not released, but announced. A lot of the stuff is already announced. Yeah, so, like, if you have, like, Alternate and Chaos Max, then definitely, because, you know, what the fuck can, you know, Dex do to Chaos Max when it comes to combining the list for worlds? Dude, he just attacked over Beatrice? Is he crazy? <laughs> mm hmm Does he know what Beatrice does? <laughs> well, yeah, he's gonna have to get rid of it. He can negate you, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. My fault. That negates yeah, a you... graveyard effect? Yeah. Okay. If he was selected to train order, he could you could have said graph first, then I mean Beatrice, then graph. So graph Beatrice went first. That's fine. Mm -hmm. You're just gonna oh, you're right, you're like right. what? Summon a Sir, and then Sir can summon you back, Dante. Mm -hmm. You're still good. Yeah, Blue Eyes White Spirit can go ahead and do that. <clears throat> no, I've I've played against Blue Eyes before. Um, you're right about the chain order thing. That was that was my fault. But like I said, I, I'm still learning the Burning Abyss half of this deck. I, I pretty much you know. I kind of I kind of forgot about it too. To tell you too. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay. Like, I'm not going to lie. I mean, he could have just ran over to Dante anyway, so. Uh, did he tackle Blue? No, he tackled Blue Eyes first. Yeah, so. The Dante that you would have summoned the Pilgrim would, would be uh, too, big. Spirit would, be too yeah, big. Too big for Spirit. Okay. I'm just going to. I'm just going to make Beatrice by discarding Farfa and banish another card. Oh, never mind. It's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot you had a deck. <laughs> it's been three yeah. duels or two duels without it without you doing anything yet. So, <laughs> yeah. if that Dante wasn't on the field, I could do a really great play. But Dante's on the field, so I guess I'll just go ahead and throw the Regaki at him. Wait, why does the uh, Dante hinder your play? I don't I don't know how your deck works. Because so. uh, I have uh, Evil Storm's near side, Evil Storm and Dragora, so I can special summon it. Why can't you special summon it? Because it's, while we control, wait, isn't it if your opponent controls more monsters or? No, yeah, if your opponent controls more monsters, yeah, especially. I keep on getting that mixed up with if your opponent controls, you know. Like a Photon Thrasher? Yeah. Alright, discard in the field, so I'm supposed to summon it. Turn you to target one level 5 or harder. Okay, control uh, fire. But it's in game's effect, which I guess would be okay. Mandragora is also a plant, isn't it? Yeah. So you could run, like, Polynosis if you wanted to. I'm thinking about just throwing the Regeki at him because I really don't want him to do Blue Eye Spirit, but then I really wouldn't get much out of. Well, uh, let me read Blue Eye Spirit again. <laughs> I have to start reading Yu Gi Oh cards. Uh, so you can't special one two at the same time, so that like stops Pendulum Summons, and then well, you can negate a graveyard once per turn. So okay, well yeah, get get rid of the Spirit because I want my Dante. Oh no, it won't work because you'll just get it. Never mind. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I guess you can get a card if you want, but yeah, do whatever. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah, do whatever you want. Get rid of it. I was thinking that maybe I could get away, but I don't want his spirit. You could spirit can chain, that's fine, but yeah, you, know, you have go, to be on. The new one will still go away. Mm-hmm. Gender backwards. What is Azor's float for? Nothing. It's just it's just still activating its effect. Ah, uh, but there's, there's nothing, nothing to, to be control there's nothing he controls that would be protected. Exactly. Okay. Awesome. 
No, no. It's a gay for. No. That is how that works. Because <laughs> the, the the silver wouldn't activate until Regeki resolves, as we saw. Fusion substitute. Mm -hmm. Because Star Venom has to be the monsters have to be on the field, so there's no point in running Poly. Make sense? Um, I, I don't know. I have to read it. Uh, if this card is fusion summoned, you can make attack. It's one face of special monster. Your opponent controls later the turn. Once per turn, you can target. A, oh, it says on the field. Okay. Yeah. But the reason why I rejected him is because I fuck you really hard. Wait. H hello. Hello. Just let it go. <laughs> uh, uh, he's really. He's really salty. Like, it's really sad how salty he is. <laughs> I like this uh, this fusion, though. Yeah, it's pretty powerful. It's just the monsters have to be on the field. I think if Sick and Super Poly is still legal. Like, two I dark monsters on the field. Copying effects is, like, the most interesting effect ever. <sighs> That's a really interesting effect. I like that a lot. And that last effect is pretty powerful, too. I seriously doubt it he'll be destroyed, but... That's nice. Well, yeah. Well, the thing about effects like that, like which is usually what happens with Beatrice, is that what that essentially says is this card cannot be destroyed by card effects or destroyed by battle or whatever. But if they do it, then it just gets you something super powerful. But usually what happens is they just avoid destroying the card. You know what I mean? Like they'll just spin it back or, or bounce yeah. it or something. But, you know, if they do decide to destroy it, it's just a huge bonus. It's like Cyber Dragon Nova, right? Um, Cyber Dragon Nova was like one of the first cards to say, if this card is destroyed, you get a super powerful monster that you'd never be able to summon otherwise. <clears throat> well, through conventional means. <laughs> what? Oh, well, I mean, you can summon what what Nova will summon you, but I mean, not through conventional not uh, means. not not Barbaroid. Oh, I was thinking Barbaroid. I was thinking like Cyber. Cyber, Cyber yeah. 20. Nobody nobody plays Cyber End, though. It's always the Barbaroid, unless you're actually playing a Cyber Dragon deck. <laughs> then you'd make Cyber End. Do something. Like you said, are you trying to figure out how to get rid of Star Venom? Like. Star Venom's not even that great right now. It would have been much better if I would have not regekied him, but I'd rather regeki him just so I wouldn't have to deal with that freaking Azure Eyes. Mm hmm Yeah, dude, I gotta say, I, I have to say, uh, so far in this deck is this is really fun. The uh the Monarch Abyss deck. And I'm I'm liking this this fusion here, so I look forward to seeing more of the what's the deck called? Some plants? Predator plants, but I didn't get any because there's only three monsters. And I'm not running three of each because some of them are kind of. Are you running Ophion? Yeah. That's good. Are you running more than one Evil Swarm? Yeah. What are you running? Uh, I'm running three cast, I mean, three casters, two Mandragora, and three Krakion. Uh, the, the other guy's gonna quit. Sure seems like it because that man. I'm not sure if he's AFK or what. How much damage can I do? I need to see if. Ah uh, man. Never mind, they quit because one guy wasn't playing, so. That makes sense. <sighs> hey, at least I busted off Star Venom. Is that the whole, is that the whole video or? No, no, we got another duel. We're right back. Uh, so, let's see if they quit this time. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Sister Deck is so strong, so meta, so powerful. Uh, I could bust out uh, Star Venom again. Yeah, well, the thing is, like, looking at it, like, the deck list, you'd think that this was some, like, some kind of, like, um, like, you'd think it was a fun deck from looking at it, because you'd think that, you know, throwing these two archetypes together wouldn't work. But it works together so well, so it can be meta. Um, yeah, we haven't actually gotten anybody to zero yet, everybody's just quit. Mm-hmm. So. This has got to be the worst hand I have ever gotten in my life, lol. <laughs> I mean, you opened one for one, it's a limited card, come on. I mean, that, that's pretty powerful. Yeah, one for one's great by itself. I mean, unless he doesn't have any other monsters in his hand, but let's just get a... I don't know what Fables really do, so... Like, aren't they a deck like Dark Worlds, kinda? Kinda. Except they can be discarded as cost. Mm -hmm. And they're like a Synchro deck, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is a pretty bad opening, depending on what those sets are. <laughs> Solemn Strike, Solemn Strike, Solemn Strike. <laughs> I mean, opening up with the Solemn Strike is still power. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Oh, three Solemn Strike would yeah, be amazing. Uh, what the hell can that back row be? And usually Fables, I see them being like more of a faster deck, more of an aggressive kind of, uh, uh, you know, Quasar is dead. We can bust out Quasar, so to see him set three is kind of shocking. This is going to seem weird, but I'm actually going to grab another Pantheism. Because I have a Prime in my hand, so. 
It doesn't seem weird to me. I mean, all right. Okay, that multiples, glitch, yeah. draw more. Who cares? Alright, I'm going first because apparently, uh, well, I'll go first out of the two of us, I'm still, I'll still go second. <laughs> yeah, I'm everybody's, play everybody's second. quitting to the meta, so if they see fucking whatever, venom plants or whatever they're called, what are they called, predator plants? Yeah, then, uh, predator plants. They won't quit to predator plants, and then if they quit to me on the second turn, then you know. At least I did something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Alright, go or on. Not. Let's see that explosiveness that predator plants have. I don't have that explosiveness, but <laughs> I can't. I, I can do a play, but it's not explosive. Which one's the one that I like? This one's the one that's kind of. Eh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I'm reading this for the first time. Skid Drosera. Oh, it's a counter deck. Uh, those are always bad. Yeah. Kaijus are only good because you can use that spell card and splash them in and tech them and side them, but every other counter deck has been terrible. Spell counters, eight <laughs> counters, you know, the alien deck. Although the aliens mm -hmm. did get a new card, did you see it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you review it yet? No, not yet. Okay. I'll probably end up reviewing it. Yeah, do you watch, or have you ever heard of X Underground Members X? Yeah. Yeah, they, uh... The Kisame guy, his favorite deck is is aliens. So, mm. I guess Spidey doesn't really do videos much anymore. Ew! You hate what? Supply Squad's. I hate Supply Squad. It's just a regular deck now. I it's a, re a regular squad. card. I meant. I hate Supply Squad. So I almost hated Cardinal of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yep, most hated spell card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. And there's a lot of spell cards I hate. So. That's disgusting. Popping your own shit. What were they thinking? What were they thinking with the card in general? But they were just like, nah. Just destroy the battle by card for period. You mean about your own shit? Like, alright. Eh, I'm not too salty about it. I'm not salty, I just don't like the card. It's gross. <laughs> I mean, it's not that good of a card, though. It's just a regular card. Nah, that's pretty good. Especially at multiples. Uh, I mean, yeah, at multiples, a lot of things are broken, though. Um, then again, a lot of things are terrible at multiples. <laughs> Alright, uh, I drew a handful of monsters, which is, you know, not, it would be good if you didn't have a strike. Um, what's trying to activate in the graveyard? Uh, oh, my, fusion substitute. A fusion substitute. Should I do that? It's up to you if you want to use it. it I mean, do you care if I use your card? Draw. No. Alright, yeah, I'm totally going to use it then, because I drew, I drew bad, so I definitely need this draw. I have a fusion in my extra deck now. <laughs> Good thing I run Petite Dragon and Firegrass. <laughs> what does he have? What, what could he possibly have? <laughs> mm. Debunk? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Darkfire Dragon's holding the Dragon Balls. <laughs> Did you notice that? Mm -mm. I never looked at the card like that. Alright, see, I just unbricked my hand. Perfect. Whatever helps. <laughs> yeah, no, that was good. I mean, my hand now is kind of eh. I got my Predator plant that can kill any level monster, and I got Regeki, so. I don't know. Last last time we did this, you did all the plays, and I did, like, nothing, so. <laughs> so let me let me have my time to shine. I mean, I busted off Star Venom, and I used the Predator Plant, so you can't say that. I mean, I mean, you guys voted on it, and kind of looted with only three freaking monsters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Like, right. all these, they're announcing all these new cards for all these other archetypes, and it's like, hey, can I get something for an actual TV show character? Yeah. Well, I guess first he has to play some more shit in a TV show. Like, he just did his first duel, really. <laughs> so I'm super set up once we use that strike. Um, what I'm actually just going to do is I'm going to set this and take a slow I guess like I guess uh, I mean I'll use pantheism just because I might as well use pantheism but um then you'd have to set another card in, yeah in I'm gonna set the I'm gonna set the storm forth uh, and I'll just do monarch plays then <clears throat> see another card no because I ha I do have but the, now since you have return on the field no you can't I have the first monarch though so I can just tribute something that you summon if you need to or if I need oh. to 
Uh, and I have and I have Stormforce, so I don't even need to tribute your thing. I'll just tribute their thing. <clears throat> so I'm good. Okay. Like I see what you're saying though, is that setting cards is, is bad because I'm playing Burning Abyss, but should be fine. Alright. I shouldn't have set until after I attack though, because now he knows which card is where. No, I don't want to chain Prime. I mean, I'm sorry, we don't know what the other guy is, because... Wait, do we? I don't know. No, no, he just no. He did nothing. Remember, he just passed his turn. Or is that the last duel? That might have been I, think, the last duel. I think that's the last duel, because he quit. Or was it this duel? I don't remember. I don't, I don't remember. I know there was one guy that complained about having a bad hand, then he had one for one, then he made Glow Bulb and set some stuff, but... I think that was the last duel, because then... What was... Yeah, because the, the yeah, this guy opened up with Glow Bulb. Yeah, he popped it. that was the first turn. And then you went, and then... Wait, what did the other guy do? Flip he up. hasn't gone yet. No, he used Odd Eyes. No, that was the same guy. The same guy who did the Odd Eyes play is the same guy who did the Glow Bulb play. Okay, then. Yep, you're right. The Sakaki Yuma. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> um, I mean, you might as well chain it. And do nothing? Well, it would still deter them. I mean, do you have any... You don't have Ether in your hand? I do. I mean, if you have Ether in your hand, then it will deter them from doing any plays. Okay. It's better than not chaining it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And if you want to go ahead and tribute my Star Venom, that's that's fine. I have I have Prime. Oh yeah, that's true. So I should get Prime out, like now. Yeah, you should probably get Prime out now. All right. So right when he summons a monster, I can. Yep. Dude. Ether Storm he, in the freaking mirror match is insane. Or he cannot summon a monster. I mean, it's really up to him. Either way, I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess I can use. Cause this is this. Oh wait, Strive Venom isn't a quick isn't a quick effect. Are mm -mm. uh, oh, we getting wrecked by MST? Yeah. Not fucking Twin Twisters. MSTs. Hey, it's this, I mean, it's terrible. But drawing two MST is technically the same thing as drawing a Twin Twister and and any other card. Mm -hmm. uh, except if the discard that you would discard has an effect in the graveyard, of course. No, I don't want to use either. <sighs> Fuck. Mm -hmm. That sucks. I mean, he only has three cards left, though, so... I goes my Star Venom. Well, it also, it, it also stinks because now I have this return here. Ew. <laughs> like, Noble Knights? Ew. <laughs> I'm playing the superior... TCG exclusive deck. <laughs> I can't do Burning Abyss things though because I have this stupid return here. I just don't. Want You're to... the one that said it. What? The I know, return? but I don't want to have to discard for my end phase. <clears throat> oh, you have nothing else you can set. You have all monsters in your hand now. Yeah, my hand is is Ether, Erebus, Seer, uh, Skarm, Graf, Farfa. What are we waiting on? Not me. Just him to continue his turn. He's using Gristen, he had to send Destiny. Okay. You don't like this deck because it's like, touch yourself deck? Kinda. Never been the biggest fan of this deck. And the Ignoble Knight of YouTube getting on my case didn't help either, so. <laughs> he doesn't like me either, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Like, what? You don't like Noble Knights? What's wrong with you? Blah, blah, blah. They got us viewers subscribers get on my ass too and it's like it's okay. so I'm not titled to my opinion like you can get on your channel and fucking say fucking Uvel's fucking hot garbage I don't care <laughs> I wonder I wonder if there's any deck that I don't like is there a deck that I just hate I'm just trying to think about it like is there a deck because I know you you don't like a lot of cards like there are a lot of cards that you really just don't like mm -hmm. fly hell <laughs> what <laughs> that's not gonna stay for the TCG fly as hell <laughs> Yeah, of course I'll go ahead and kill your monster so you get to go ahead and draw a card. I hate Supply Squad. It's like it's babying you. Eh. It's like, oh, you got your monster killed. Here, draw a card. It's like, no. <laughs> when is Dishonest going to come out? I seriously doubt that'll ever happen. It, it will. It'll just, I think it'll eventually come out. It'll just be bad. Like, it'll just be like... Increase their attack by 500. <laughs> like, <laughs> it'll be really super terrible. <laughs> or it'll, it'll probably like make the opponent monster lose attack or something like that. But 
I don't know. Wait, how'd you destroy it? Oh, it, I target it, it becomes level 1, and then if a monster is level 2 or... Uh, at, the, at the start of the damage step, this card battles a lot monsters whose level is less than or equal to this card, then okay. destroy I did, it. Yeah, I saw that effect. I just didn't see the effect where you reduced his level. Okay, cool. Yep. Fly hell is fucking fly as hell. That's what I said. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. But you, you were just saying oh. that ironically. Yeah. Alright, well, this should be fun. And by fun, I mean stupid, because it's the pendulum mechanic. Wait, what? Oh, Cosmic Cyclone. I was like, what is that? <laughs> yeah. It's interesting that he's main decking that. Yep. Well, I think it'll be a card that's... that's well, the thing is, spells and traps didn't used to float, but now they do, so... <laughs> like, like Prime, for instance. But it's, it's just not that great just to, you know, get rid of a random set card. Like, there's situational cards that it, it's good Well, against. you'd use it on a face-up card, then. Well, if your opponent's not playing face-up cards like that. And you're just going to pay a thousand light points to do the same job depends, that it depends what's meta. It depends what's meta at the time. Like, if, for instance, if Harpies were meta, then you'd run a run Cosmic Cyclone. I'd actually be... I've never had a, an Asteric Sign Cosmic Cyclone, but I'd be so upset. Oh my gosh. I'd be so mad if that happened. <laughs> Whoa. Donald's what? girl. What? Pendulum Summon. Why not? Sorcerer, go off. Because it's stupid. And oh, he's playing, he's stupid. playing Poem! Yep. Nice. Stupid. The guy at my locals plays Poem. He doesn't use Trump Girl, though. I mean, I can't say anything because you're also playing fucking meta, but my Predator plants are not going to stack up to this. Not even close. Well, he got rid of all our back rows, so my, my hand is going to be broken. I'll just, like, make, like, six Dantes. <laughs> and core Supply Squad because you popped your own shit. So stupid. I hate this card. Hey, I'll uh, I'll pop the supply squad when I get the chance to. <laughs> Jeez, this video is probably gonna be pretty long. Mm-hmm. Wait, my own monster because fuck me. Wait, what happened with Star Venom? He fused into it. How? Uh, Trump. Trump girl. They're both dark monsters. Like using monsters controls fusion. I thought it took a plant type monster. Mm -mm, two dark monsters on the field. Oh wow. See, you can't Ooh. see this. I don't know if it, it's the same for you, but there's like three lines. Okay, so if you go to if you hover over any card, right? There's three lines. Oh, and of course, of course, he's playing that. Just fucking fuck. Like really? Can you? Um, what I was saying was that, oh wow, Dark Requiem Xyz Dragon, I've never seen that before. Um, if you hover over any monster card, there will be three lines of blue text, and on my screen, I don't know why, but the blue text overlays with the first line of text in the effect. Mm -hmm. So for the uh, Star Venom Fusion Dragon, I couldn't see the, the materials, because it's covered up by blue text. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's skewed a little bit. That's that pro for you, wow, I can't believe he's just running the fucking... Not running any Phantom Knights, but running that and draws into it with fucking Supply Squad to go into Dark Requiem. Just fuck me. Like, alright. Alright, let's see what I got. Ooh! Ooh. So I drew Tour Guide, but it depends if I want to summon a Monarch or, or a Tour Guide. Um, I mean, you're gonna get fucked up by Dark Requiem either way, so. Oh, yeah, I don't know what he does. Once per turning into attach next season's hero, target a face up monster opponent controls, attack becomes zero, and it gains attack. During your player's turn, your opponent activates a monster effect. What? Dang. Um, huh. So, what's in the graveyard that, that's trying to activate? Prime. Prime. No, I don't think so. Do I have another card? Oh, yeah, Stormforth. Okay. Um, huh. I mean, I got Regeki if you want to wait, but I'm not sure if we'll survive. Uh, that's literally all I have. I mean, I can just. I can just. I can. I mean, I can make multiple Dantes here, so if he. I'll just, I'll just, I'll keep, I'll hold my Monarchs and make Dante's. He'll probably negate that, to be honest. Yeah. So that's fine. So I have, I have tons of stuff in my hand. All I, all I can do is just not make mo summon any Monarchs this turn. Uh, no, I don't want to chain Prime. It's like the Monster's Special Summon. It'll be from my deck, and I'll go for... 
a graph. Uh, graphs in my hand. Oh. Uh, Watch will be terrible. But you don't have a. I guess you're not detaching server because there's nothing in there yet. <laughs> Farfa would be terrible? I said Farfa wouldn't be terrible. Okay, because I was going to summon Farfa now. Oh, well, now you can only activate one effect of Farfa only once per turn, only once that turn, so you can't activate its banish effect this turn. Okay. And then it's going to die. Oh, yeah. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> I clicked oh. it before I said it. Alright. Well, at least I have something to summon with Seer now. <laughs> oh. That won't, won't be able to get over anything. Nope. Hmm. I guess I can go for what's her face. Uh, but then I can only crash. And then I can get the big guy. Okay, so I'll do that. And then I can attack over both. That'll work, right? I don't get how you're attacking over both. I'll go into the girl. And then the girl will crash. Oh, does she have to be destroyed by my opponent's card? My opponent's card. So wait, but it'll still be destroyed by my opponent's card, yeah. And then I'll crash, and then I'll grab um, Dante, right? The big Dante. Oh, he only has 20. 28. For some reason, I thought he had 35. Yeah. Which one has 35? Mm, I don't yeah. know what you're talking about. There's no burning of this. Has 35. Okay. <laughs> what does big Dante do again? Oh, I'm running out of time. Big can't be tar Can't be targeted, and when it's destroyed, it picks something out of your opponent's hand at random. Okay. And then you can, I think, discard a burning during your player's turn. You can pitch a burning bitch draw card. Okay. Uh, I mean, you're probably gonna run out of time, so. Yeah. So wait, you're gonna actually crash with the star venom? Yeah. No, I'm. I'm, I'm well, you'll see. I mean, if you even if you crash, you can. Is that on the field? You'll see. You'll see. No, it's just when your opponent activates a monster effect. Period. So Dark Requiem can negate your Beatrice to summon. Uh. Uh. No, oh, why did I do that? Okay, never mind. Yeah, did you, Beatrice is in the Burning Abyss. Yeah, I knew that. I'm just really bad. So, so, so do nothing. <laughs> I mean, we're fucked either way. I mean, and what do you mean by crash? I mean, you can crash, but then Dark Requiem will negate you to summon Dante. So. Because it just has monster effect, period, not on the field, so. so. Do I wish to use. Uh, I mean, unless you ch could pick the right chain order. So like I'd say chain link one Beatrice, chain link two Dante. And I also have Seer, so I want to go. Oh, that's it. So I want to make, make Beatrice sure. one, and then any, and then I guess Dante would be better, and then Seer. So you can negate Seer if you want. Alright. Uh, so I'll recycle the Farfa. He already, I thought he already used the Dark Requiem, didn't he, on Tour Guide? Did he? N maybe, I guess not. Because he. Well, no. all I'm saying is that he didn't respond there, so... No, he didn't. Waiting for. Select the monster to special summon. Uh, that will be... It doesn't really matter, because everything's already been used. You can summon Dante back. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so he's negating something. He's getting the Seer. Okay. The Seer is the last one in the chain. Okay. That's fine. And I'm gonna summon out Big Dante. So what am I gonna crash with Big Dante and then pick a card out of his hand? I don't know anymore at this point. I don't I don't know I don't know what this dude does, I've never summoned him. If this card is destroyed battles, it's a great bird. If this card you can throw you can send one random alright. Nah, I ran out of time. End phase. Chain another card. Uh Skarm. All right, feel free to use the uh, Prime in the Grave if we need it for protection. You're in control during the opponent's next time. Uh, okay. And then I'll just regeki them. I'm honestly you. just tired of being in control. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Uh, I told you I didn't know how to use the Burning Abyss half of the deck. Skarmel is trying to activate Chain of You're the one that wanted to play it. Yeah, you're right, you're right. No, it's just it's just dumb because I used every like Burning Abyss monster's effect already, so like I can't, I can't have any toolbox with my Burning Abyss stuff. Select a card to add to your hand. Um, so I, right now I have Farfa and Seer, which are very good. So I'll grab, um, I 
I think you ran out of time. But it just said that we won anyway. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's that was weird. <laughs> this whole video has been weird. Mm-hmm. Whatever. We're done. <laughs> Oh, I hope that you guys enjoyed that. I mean, at least I bust out Star Venom, but I mean, come on, there's no way. Like, Poem, fucking Odd Eyes, Pendulum Magicians, fucking everything, just, that's way too fast for me. I'm slow. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm confused because, like I said, uh, I didn't know what I was doing on the last turn, so my fault. I'm sure you guys are, I've already complained in the comments, so. Oh my god, they're gonna crucify you. Yeah. So well, enjoy that. Oh well. I'm not even, I don't know, I'll just... And I thought I was bad with burning the face. <laughs> I'll just go to the video, watch the video, like the video, and click away. <laughs> I'm not even going to look at the comments. <laughs> Alright, so be sure to subscribe to Slate. Uh, his link is in the description. Of course, he is coming back for Yu-Gi-Oh! Tier Draft League Season 2. Support him in that. And don't worry, he's not playing Burning the Abyss. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that... Oh my god, if you were playing Burning the Abyss. Mm -mm, yeah. Mm -mm. All right, people. Thanks for watching.